Welcome back to TPS. For many professional sports teams, it takes just one player to make them followed and admired nationwide. Be it his on-the-field dominance, personality, off-the-field work, or all of the above, one individual player has made these 10 NFL teams far more loved since their arrivals. At TPS, we post videos every single day, so don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. Then click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. Number 10, Jacksonville Jaguars, Gardner Minshew II. The Jaguars are one of the NFL's youngest franchises. They don't play in a big market, and they usually rank near the bottom in NFL attendance. But we can already see this bandwagon growing thanks to Gardner Minshew II. Minshew mania took off during the 2019 season. This guy became one of the NFL's most beloved players thanks to his underdog story and his incredible mustache. Minshew was drafted in the sixth round, 178th overall, by the Jaguars in 2019. He took over as a starter when free agent acquisition Nick Foles suffered a fractured clavicle in week one. Minshew Mania won six of 12 starts, and he recorded an impressive three-game winning drives. The Jaguars are pretty much a lovable loser with this guy. He's got the most humble personality and awesome fashion sense. And in case you don't believe us, Minshew's merchandise flew off the racks following his week one debut against the Kansas City Chiefs. The Jaguars might not return to contention for a while as they begin a massive rebuilding phase, but Minshew gives us good reason to watch them. Number 9, 49ers George Kittle. The 49ers struggled throughout most of the 2000s, and from 2015 to 18, they were one of the NFL's worst teams. So it was really hard to recruit more bandwagon fans who were simply looking for a winner. Superstar tight end George Kittle has played a monumental role in helping the 49ers become as followed as they once were when they had Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, and later Steve Young. Without his talents, they wouldn't have enjoyed a 13-win season and a trip to Super Bowl 54. Kittle is the league's best tight end now, and his hilarious and outgoing personality has made him must-watch TV, just like fellow superstar tight end Rob Gronkowski. Also, the jersey sales alone show how popular this guy is, and he even has The Rock cheering for him these days. This dude is totally carrying the 49ers fandom on his back right now. Number 8 Panthers, Christian McCaffrey Fantasy football players who don't cheer for the Carolina Panthers always find themselves tuning into the game anyway. Either you have run CMC on your team and you want to tune in to enjoy his dominance, or you need to cheer against him because you don't want him single-handedly beating your squad. Christian McCaffrey is one of the most universally loved and marketed NFLers right now. He's made his case as the best running back in the league, and we're sure a lot of his popularity stems from the fact that he's a second-generation star. His father, Ed, was a star wide receiver for the Denver Broncos who captured three Super Bowl championships in his career. Oh, and did we mention he's dating Olivia Colpo? This dude is winning on and off the field. Whether or not the Panthers will emerge as a powerhouse anytime soon in the post-Cam Newton era remains to be seen. But as long as McCaffrey is winning you fantasy titles, you'll continue to admire this Carolina team in some capacity. Number 7 Baltimore Ravens Lamar Jackson in the past, the Ravens haven't really attracted as much of a following compared to other top teams despite their consistently good play. They won Super Bowl 36 and 47 with franchise icon Ray Lewis leading the way. They had several other highly likable players in the past as well. However, popularity outside of Maryland just didn't really come to be. But things have changed since the team drafted Lamar Jackson with the 32nd overall pick in 2018. The dual threat quarterback has emerged as one of the NFL's top faces of football and his 2019 season was absolutely mesmerizing. He led the NFL with 36 touchdown passes, and he rushed for 1,206 yards, which is the most ever for a quarterback in a single season. Jackson ran away with the MVP award after leading Baltimore to a league-best 14-2 record. Jackson's extreme kindness, classiness, and genuine personality makes him one of those guys that you simply can't hate. Besides the fact that his Ravens are probably beating your team any given Sunday, there's really no reason not to like him. Baltimore will buy for multiple Super Bowls, and the winning alone is going to help them attract more fans across the United States. But Jack is obviously the key reason why this team is a winner again. All aboard the Ravens bandwagon, it's about to get much bigger thanks to this electrifying quarterback. Number 6 Buccaneers Tom Brady Other than their Super Bowl 37 championship during the 2002 season, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have been extremely irrelevant throughout their history. But absolutely everything, and I mean everything, changed when the Buccaneers signed the New England Patriots icon to a two-year, fully guaranteed $50 million contract in 2020 free agency. I mean, you just landed the GOAT, the most accomplished and arguably the most beloved NFL player of all time. Of course, people are going to bandwagon hop. 
Look at how much the Cleveland Cavaliers and Miami Heat bandwagons grew when they got LeBron James. Never Bronx was one of America's most beloved teams when they had Peyton Manning for four years. So yes, the Buccaneers are going to get a lot of love as long as TB12 is there. Brady and Tampa Bay jersey sales skyrocketed quickly after he signed with them. This love affair with Tampa won't last long. Once Brady decides to retire, it should be back to normal. But for now, there's a reason to love the Bucks again, and it just took one free agent signing to make it happen. Number 5. Houston Texans, J.J. Watt The youngest NFL franchise came into the NFL in 2002. They were, to be quite honest, not a good football team at all. But that all changed once they drafted J.J. Watt with number 11 pick in 2011. Watt put Houston right back on the football map, anchoring a nasty defense that propelled the Texans to consecutive AFC South Division titles in 2011 and 12. Watt quickly established himself as the league's best defensive player, winning the Defensive Player of the Year award in 2012, 14, and 15. Watt's good-hearted personality and extremely generous off-the-field acts quickly made him a universally beloved player. He was instrumental in making the Texans one of the better teams in the AFC, leading them to the postseason six times in nine seasons thus far. Without Watt, the Texans wouldn't be a consistent playoff contender, and without him, the Texans wouldn't be noticed much outside of Houston. We can't stress enough how valuable he has been in making this team what they are today. Number 4. Giants Saquon Barkley Once the Giants drafted Barkley with the second overall pick in 2018, he became one of the most popular players in the NFL. When you're a generational running back prospect, and when you're drafted to a big market team, you don't have to do much. The love and admiration will come. The Giants have a wide following outside of the Big Apple. They are one of the NFL's most historic and accomplished franchises with four Super Bowl banners. But the Giants haven't been that relevant since they won Super Bowl 46 in the 2011 season. A lot of losing, coupled with constant coaching changes and roster turnover, has added up to the status of a dysfunctional franchise. But Barkley is one of the most explosive and gifted athletes we've ever seen. This is the reason why the Giants will be widely followed for many years to come, regardless of their record. Barkley has consistently found himself near the very top in the NFL jersey sales. He was actually number one on the list in the 2018 offseason before he had even suited up for his first NFL game. The Giants will one day turn a corner and become relevant again, but their popularity will remain high with Barkley leading the way. The jersey sales don't lie, people love this guy. 3. Seattle Seahawks Russell Wilson The Seahawks, like many other teams on this list, weren't exactly popular outside of their home city, but the franchise turned a corner once Russell Wilson arrived in 2012. He, Marshawn Lynch, and the Legion of Boom defense turned Seattle into an NFC juggernaut. We all remember just how much that bandwagon grew from 2012 to 15. During that time, it seemed like, all of a sudden, everyone was a Seahawks fan. Wilson was instrumental in turning Seattle around. Many thought he was simply a game manager when they won Super Bowl 48 and when they reached Super Bowl 49. But when the Legion of Boom era ended, Wilson took his game to another level, and the Seahawks remained among the NFL's elite. Wilson's good guy personality and off-the-field charitable acts make him another NFLer that you simply cannot hate. Without this guy, the Seahawks would have a lot less wins and a lot less fans. Number 2. New Orleans Saints Drew Brees The franchise changed forever when they signed Drew Brees in 2006 free agency and when they hired Sean Payton to become the new head coach. This football team had a long, sad history of losing. They entered the NFL in 1967. They didn't report their first playoff win until 2000. But Breeze and Peyton quickly went to work in crafting an NFC heavyweight. Breeze led the Saints to their first ever Super Bowl championship in the 2009 season. From 2006 to 19, this team made the playoffs eight times, winning six NFC South Division titles and reaching three conference championship games. Without Breeze, the NFL's all-time passing yards and passing touchdowns leader, the Saints wouldn't be one of the top teams of the past decade and a half. It's as simple as that. But he has changed everything about this organization, making them one of the more likable sports franchises in North America. Number 1. Kansas City Chiefs Patrick Mahomes Who else? The Chiefs recorded five straight winning seasons and four playoff berths under Alex Smith from 2013 to 17, but they simply weren't on the same level as other historic teams like the Patriots, Cowboys, or Steelers in terms of popularity and marketability. But that's all changing under Patrick Mahomes, the new face of the NFL. Staubach made the Cowboys America's team, Joe Montana made the 49ers one of the most popular American sports teams in the 80s, Tom Brady made the longtime losing Patriots the new golden franchise in sports. Simply put, an all-time great quarterback will always make his team that much more beloved. Mahomes and the Chiefs are the new number one NFL bandwagon, he's the league's best player, and his popularity is already on par with the likes of Brady and Aaron Rodgers. And the more the Chiefs win, the more fans they'll recruit. It's just that simple. 
Does this one really need an explanation? Ah, uh, Casey's fan base is quickly growing, and it's all because of Patrick Mahomes. One of their NFL teams are loved because of one player. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, now's a great time to do that by hitting that subscribe button down there. If you like the video, then give the video a like. We'd appreciate it. And last but not least, don't forget to tune into TPS every single day for more cool videos. We'll see you next time.